Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to see like how we can create a sparkline chart. I've already built one sparkline chart here. So what does it mean and how it can be created? And we are also going to go a next level on this and let's see how it can be done. I will come into the later part of my video. So let's get started. How the sparkline chart can be created and why it is useful in context with to the data analytics. So first thing, like when it comes to sparkline chart, so let's say for 2024 government, there's this much of a sales and how the sales will uh, the sales trends looks like. So if you see all of them, there is clearly there is a spike in this particular month and there is some spike dip in this month and rest that goes to the average. So this, when a decision maker uh, sees this thing, uh, see this kind of a visual, it helps to take a decision based on that, that yeah, there is something is going on this particular month and we can go deep dive into this thing. So first of all, how we can create a uh, sparkling chart for this. So for this, let me for time being, I will just remove this thing from here. So this is a simple matrix, which is uh, for the yearly, uh, at a yearly level I've created. So for sparkling to add into a power first you have to go to the uh, File section, then option section. In options, if you go here, uh, it will take some time to open. Most of you might be having this already, but uh, let's say if you don't have it, then you have to add it in your just Excel. So you have to go to this uh, preview features. And in this preview features, if you see, there is Sparkline. So this Sparkline is something that you are going to use here. So if it is an unchecked box, please check it up and then you can use it. So once it's done, let me select back this again. Then you have to come here and you have to like go to values. Click on this, and if you see here, add a spark line. So once you have the add a spark line, you know, click on that. So what exactly it needs? It's a basically a line chart where x axis is some period or time frame, and y axis is something of uh, some uh, let's say some of the measures. It can be there, or it's, let's say some sales value kind of thing. So I will just select the date from here. Once I select the date, and I have to create it. So if you see, if I just expand these things, this spark line chart is created. Now let's do a little bit of formatting for these things. For this the same thing, formatting you have to go down and create this, if you see spark line has been added here, if you add it. And here you can have a line as well as the column options. So this is how the column option looks like. Let's go with the line for a time being. You can increase the width of the line as controlled by thing. Then let's say if you want a marker of that. So you can highlight the highest and the lowest here. And let's change the marker to something like this and markers this. So respect, on a respective spark line, it will highlight the, uh, highlight the marker. So let me do this thing, it looks better. Now, this is it really. But let's say we want something else also, like can you take it up to a next level? This is what you have to do, right? Uh, this is good, like that you can use it, uh, the business decision maker can use it. Let's say if you want something like this, which I've already created, if you see, this is a card and this is the spark line I have added here on this. If I select 2013, so it will change accordingly here. And for 2014, it will change accordingly. So this is a card and this is spark line, but it looks like a same thing, right? It's a KPI kind of a thing and how you can create this thing. This is very interesting and let's see how we can achieve this in Power BI. So for this, for this, what we need first. First, we need the card, okay? Let me do here. And let's have a sales value. So for 2014, if you see the same values are here. Okay, let me do one more thing. I will format it first. I will go to this uh, card values. Uh, we can directly actually go and set up the background first. So let's say I will just set up this background as this one, this one. Okay, now what we need? We need a sparkline chart. So what I can do, I can just select a table first here. In table, I can select the sales. Then I can click on this, the drop-down menu of this and add a sparkline to this. Let's create this thing. We are done, like we have a sales. Sparkling. Now what we need, we need to remove the uh, the sales value. What else we are need? Now we need the same formatting. If you see, now it's a game of formatting. How you can format this thing? So first of all, once you have this, first go to this, go to grid line and select the, if once you select this thing, uh, we have to make it options, what are, everything is selected here. Now go to column header, change the text also to this. Background color is also like this. Now we are on the same page. Now, but uh, the sparkling itself is there, right? So what you need to just do is on the search search bar, you have to just uh, type the background. You will get the background, different backgrounds are there, right? And the values and this column header icon and everything. So what you need, you need to select the values one. And here in the background, you have to select this thing. Oh, sorry, oh, I guess I'm not selecting the right. Oh, sorry. So in here values, you have to select the background colors. You should not go for this column text or uh, background this one. You have to just go to values. In values, you have to go to background. Now it's done, right? But still, if you see the blown line is there, so it's up to you. You want to keep the slide or not? Uh, so if you want to remove it, you can remove these things. If you don't want to, hey, you can keep it as it is. Okay. So just to differentiate, I'm just keeping this line as of now. Okay. What we can do? I can just expand this thing. And now for spark line, what I can do? Uh, for marker, let's have highest, lowest, and its respective color. Okay. The same thing that we have done here. We can increase a little bit of width here. Okay. Uh, let's make it like this, fit, background, do background, so done. So we have the uh, differentiator, we have this line. Now we want to place it over it. Once you place over it, right, you will face the next time. You, you will see that the, your the proper text will not there. Here also I have just uh, purposefully have taken these things. If I go here and I drop down also, what we need to do here. So first let's adjust this thing. Okay, now you have to go to selection pane here. And if you see here, this table is selected, the card should be at, table should be the first and the card should be this things. So we are good here right now. 
now what I can do is like I can stretch a bit here. I can select a table and I can just push my table below. Now we are done, right? It looks good now. And this is all like formatting. If one need to play with the formatting, I've just had the two different format here. So if someone wants to have this kind of a format or something like this kind of format, they can have this as well. So more you go deep into the formatting, the more the visual will be better. So this is how you can play with the spark line. Also that the next slide you can add is the tooltip to us. So, so let's do this also. I just feel generally we have, whenever there is a line chart, we generally have the tooltip or something like this. So what I can do here right now is I have to go to select a new, let me do as tooltip. If you want to see how we can create a tooltip and you can check my one of the videos where I have created a tooltip. And let's do this thing. Like we have the TNF, we have to allow the user as a tooltip. Once we are here, what we need to, we need the date. We need the sales, just remove, let's say year and day for the time being. Totals, let's remove the total as well. Here, now we have to come again here this page, select this thing, go to this, uh, then, once you have these things, uh, select the thing, go to generals, turn on the tooltip. Then if it asks you which page you want to land, so reported page, reported page is nothing but my tooltip. Okay. Now let's say if I hover over here, my tooltip is visible. So this is how you can enhance your visual. And this is a very good visual that actually I recently learned. So this helps a lot. Let's say if you have a dashboard, you have four or five KPIs uh, together. Uh, it, it's a very good visual. Like you can just format it uh, you know, differently. You can have this uh, uh, divider line or not. It's up to you. Uh, how you actually can format that as well. And the, the thickness of that control can be there. So hope you like this video where we have seen like how we can create a sparkline. At the same time, how we can use sparkline as in a KPI here. Follow. And the formatting is the most important part here. So hope you like this video. Follow for more Power BI updates. Thank you so much.